Hi guys, I'm Sean Creasy, golf professional at Coolin Beach Golf Club. Over the next 10 videos, we're going to be doing a series of fun skills challenges to help you guys improve your golf game. Let's get started. For today's skill challenge, you are going to need a paper ball, which can consist of scrunched up paper and sellotape. Alternatively to this, you could use a small foam ball or perhaps a ping pong ball. Six white paper circles two blue paper circles, two yellow paper circles, a homemade putting golf club, this could be a broom or in this case we've taken a stick and sellotaped some cardboard and a protractor to the end. However you are also welcome to use a plastic putter or a real putter if you have one. Hi guys, we're going to get going with your warm up. So the first warm up we're just going to try and get your, your neck and your shoulders relaxed. Okay, so just gently just going to move your head from side to side. Okay, okay, and then go front and back. Just doing this really slowly, just gets all the tension out of your neck and shoulders. Okay, and just some slow turns to the right. Okay, this is really good for golf. And then back to the left. Okay, just relaxing your shoulders back again. Okay, and then we're going to go forward. Okay, I'm just going to get your arms going. Just so if you hold your arms out horizontally, I'm just going to do some slow circles. This is really good just for warming your forearms up, relaxing your arms. So I'm doing that nice and slow. Okay, and then we're going to go turn the other way. Okay, so just nice. It's just warmed up my neck, shoulders, my arms gentle warm up okay next one we're going to do is some lunges okay so we're going to do five on each leg so starting with the right leg first so we're just going to go forward just hold that position there that's one okay so you're going to do five on each leg two okay three four okay we're going to do one more on the right five Okay, then we're just going to swap over onto the left leg now. So let's do five on the left. One, okay, two, three, just hold it there, okay, four, and five. Okay, so we've done the five lunges. So now we're going to pick up the golf club. If you haven't got a golf club, you can use the club that we've made, okay, indoors. We're just going to do some really slow twists, okay, so holding the club out in front of you. Feet shoulder width apart, okay, and just doing some real slow turns to the right. So you're going to do five to the right. So one and back, two and back, three and back, four and back, five and back. Okay, now just going to relax again, okay. Same position, just again here, just trying to engage your core muscles, keeping your lower body really stable. Okay, it's just going to go to the left, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm just going to shake that off, just nice and steady. Okay, so I'm just going to shake also my ankles there, my feet and ankles and hands and arms, just to get even placing the golf club back down. It's just getting nice and relaxed there, okay? Just shake out all that tension, so your arms and shoulders, okay? So that's good, guys. Your warm-up session done. Well done. So today's skills challenge is going to be based on putting. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you guys what a putter is and where you would use the putter on the golf course, okay? So in my right hand, I've actually got a putter, okay? And the putter has a flat surface here okay and it has a flat face okay and with putting it's when you go onto the golf course and you can see the green with the flag in and this is where you would use the putter okay and therefore the objective is to try and putt the ball into the hole or the aim to try and putt the ball into the hole okay so what I've done okay, and kind of what you guys do if you haven't got a putter okay or a plastic putter is you can make your own putter okay so I've used a stick here okay I've used a protractor and I've attached some cardboard, okay, with sellotape, okay? So this is my putter, which I'm gonna be demonstrating with both. I'm gonna use a normal putter, okay? And I'm going to use 
a plotter which I made out of cardboard, a protractor and the stick. Okay? So if you haven't got a golf club or a putter, then you can make your own. So that's a fun challenge on its own. Okay? If you haven't got golf balls, so we don't really want to be using golf balls, okay? So you could maybe use something like a if you've got like an airflow golf ball, your parents might have that or a friend, okay? Or you could use maybe a rubber golf, a rubber ball, okay? Or I've actually made a golf ball here out of paper and I've obviously you can see I've, pa I've placed it round so it's quite hard okay so I've put sellotape around that so it's quite firm okay so I'm going to use this I'm going to demonstrate with this one and this one okay so you don't really want to be using a proper golf ball guys so try not to use try and avoid using a, a proper golf ball good stuff let's have a go okay guys so now we're going to set up your first putting skills challenge okay so we've got six targets, okay, we've got a yellow target, a blue target, and a white target, okay? And I'm using cones, okay? You guys are gonna be using your paper circles, okay? So let me show you how to set this out. So we have a white cone, then we have a blue cone, and then we have a yellow cone, okay? What we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk two paces, one, two, and then I'm gonna put the white cone in front, the blue cone, in the centre and the yellow cone at the end. Okay, so that's going to be your first skills challenge. That's how you're going to set it up. Okay, okay, guys. So the aim of this challenge is using your ready-made golf club, which I've got here. Okay, the aim now is we're going to putt. So we, I'm going to explain to you and demonstrate how to do this. You're going to go from the white cone, and the aim is to try and hit the white cone in front. Okay, then we're going to go from the blue cone and try and hit the blue cone in front. Then we're going to go from the yellow cone and try and hit the yellow cone in front. So what this is teaching you, okay, it's teaching you distance control and accuracy. So putting is all about control and accuracy, okay. Now the score, what we're going to do is you're going to go from the white to the white, blue to blue, yellow to yellow. Each time you hit a cone, you get one point. Go through that five times, just so you get used to doing a bit of putting, okay. And each time you hit the cone, you get one point. So. Let me give you guys a demonstration, okay? So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna show you with the ready-made golf club first and my ready-made golf ball, okay? So let's have a go. So I'm gonna place the ball alongside the cone, okay? Now the most important thing with putting, we're gonna concentrate on three parts. Number one is aim. So aim is where you position the club and aim the club towards the target and making sure your feet and shoulders are aiming towards the target. Okay, number two is grip or hold, which is the way you hold the putter or the golf club, okay? So right-handed golfers, you position your left hand at the top, okay? With your left thumb down the center, okay? And then you place your right hand underneath with your right thumb down the center. Just making sure that, try not to separate your hands, keep your hands together, okay? So if I separate my hands, I lose control. So the purpose of keeping your hands together is to give you more control, okay? So putting's all about your arms and shoulders staying connected, okay? So you create like a triangle. You can see my arms and shoulders form a triangle, okay? So that's going to help me keep a connection. Okay, so let me have a little go. So let's go through that routine. One is aim. So I'm aiming at the target, okay? So I aim the putter. I take my stance. So I'm standing with my feet shoulder width apart. Okay, so that's going to help me gauge the weight of the putt. Okay? Now when you do putting guys, what you need to try and do is putting is a movement of the arms and shoulders, so there's no wrist action. Okay, so with shorter putts, we're going to try and concentrate on putting the width of the feet. So let's have a little go. So here we go. So I've done my grip, I've looked at my aim, Bend your knees, just head on the back of the ball, and now I'm going to have a little gut hitting the ball. Okay, so I go back and through. Okay, and you can see there what happened there is I just lifted my head up a little bit quick, so the ball went off to the right. So that's why it's important to keep your eyes on the back of the ball. Okay, so once you've done that one, you move on to the blue target. Okay, so that's the same thing, so just taking a bit more care. So a couple of practice strokes, look at the target. Here we go, so back, through. Well, I got a bit closer that time, nearly. So then I go on to the yellow target. Okay. So again, always get into that habit of doing a practice stroke first. 
Okay, so eyes on the back of the ball. Here we go. Oh, so I've got even closer. So you can see it's quite tricky, okay, but you just got to make sure you keep your position and make sure you push the putt head towards the target. Hey guys, so that's me demonstrating using your homemade golf club and your homemade golf ball. Okay, so this time I'm going to add a little bit more of a challenge to it. So what we're going to do is on the golf course, okay, we're going to add some hazards. Okay, so on the golf course you get out of bounds, bunkers, water. You don't necessarily get that on the putting green, okay, but because the putting green is obviously a closely mown area and that's where you place the ball and put it in the hole, okay. So we're going to use the out of bounds post just as a little challenge for you guys. And the reason we're going to use these is it's going to help you guys learn a bit more about distance control. So this time I'm going to use a foam ball and a putter. Okay. And what we're going to say this time is you're going to go from the same white to white, blue to blue, yellow to yellow. But if you miss a cone and your ball hits one of the white cones at the back which are out of bounds, it's minus one. So it makes it a bit more challenging. Okay, so let's just try that again with this ball. And if you have got a putter, okay, as this putter is here, this is going to really help you guys with the alignment. So the putter has a centre line, okay, so you can use the centre line to help you guys with the aim. So make sure you aim the putter using the centre line towards your intended target. So let's have a little go. So again, remember your routine, the three things. Number one was aim. So place the putter behind the ball, okay, so right-handed golfers, remember your left hand goes at the top, right hand underneath. Left-handed golfers, right hand at the top, left hand underneath, okay. And just make sure, guys, that you go through the routine, as I just said, so aim, grip, and now I'm ready to hit the putt. So let's have a little go. So my feet are shoulder width apart, keep your eyes on the back of the ball. So it's just a movement of the arms and shoulders, here we go. Okay, so I scored one point. Okay, so then I'm on to the second one. So challenge from, from the blue to blue. So same thing again. So remember that practice putt. Getting used to the weight of the putt before you hit it. Eyes on the back of the ball. Here we go, challenge two. So I've got two points now. So I'm now on to the yellow cone. So let's try that again. So let's just go through the routine. Okay, then we can hit the putt again. Oh, so I hit the cone, but I've gone past the out of bounds. So if you go past the out of bounds, it's minus one. So I would have scored one, two, and minus, so I've actually scored one point out of the three attempts. Okay, so have five goes again at that bit. And the reason that is, is to hit, just to help you guys get used to doing some putting. Remember the focal points there, guys, is to make sure that you aim correctly, check your grip, and your position and then do a practice putt before you hit the ball. Okay guys, so now we've added out of bounds, we're now going to make it even more challenging, I'm going to putt diagonally, okay? So I'm going to go from this white cone and I'm going to go towards the yellow cone, okay? Just so you get used to putting at different angles. Remember your routine, so this is going to really help you with your aim. So I'm looking at the aim again, I've got the grip, and I'm going to do my practice stroke. And then I'm ready to hit, so I'm looking at where I'm aiming, looking down the line towards the target, okay, and then I go back and through. Oh, so I was unlucky, just not quite enough power, okay, so I'm going to pick that up. I'm now going to go from the yellow cone to the white cone the opposite end, okay. So let's do the same thing with the routine. So aim first, check my grip, practice stroke, and then we can hit the putt. Here we go. Oh, I got it, so I got a point on that one, okay. So again, it's just making sure that you concentrate on where you're aiming with these putting challenges. Okay guys, so well done with your first skills challenge, your first putting challenge. Please keep hold of all of your equipment, your homemade golf club and your homemade golf ball, okay? Because you're going to need that in the next challenge. Well done guys, see you next challenge. <laughs>